Welcome back. We're here looking at the, the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, September 14, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and all of my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's get to it. We'll start by looking at WTI oil. And we did fall today, earlier, down towards 85.24, 20, 25k dollars per barrel. And then ended up roughly where we started, uh, roughly at 87.47 dollars per barrel. We are most likely going to have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average, which is uh, a golden cross. And uh, that it usually signals, um, in this case, a negative uh, downtrend. So what we're seeing here is that the market is just going forward. So, so the, the CBI number really took a toll on the market today. You see everything is basically red except for the VIX and the, the US 10 year. And that should be a basically a massive warning sign for the energy market because if the um, United States goes into recession, Europe will definitely go into recession. So we will basically uh, Asian economy as well, but especially China, uh, then there will be less demand for energy. So we have been in a downtrend for most of the year, but but at this current stage, we are most likely going to see this market drop, uh, tumble even further. We may see the rally up towards ninety dollars, uh, but uh, those rallies are going to get sold into, as we can see right here. So going forward, it will basically go even further than that. Um, the if we get some kind of news that that um, the production is really going to you know, be hammered going forward or in the rainy deal and so on, we may see this market tumble even further. There's a lot of room to the downside as there, the RSI is only at 45. MACD is bullish at this current, uh, bearish at this current stage. Stochastic is about to cross the line becoming bearish. RSI is also bearish. So next target here will mostly be, uh, be the previous highs over here at 21. So roughly down to $76 per barrel. After that, towards his 60 or 63 dollars per barrel in this range, and that's probably where we'll stabilize for some time. As we can see, there was a lot of a long period here before we basically broke to the upside. But this just just doesn't look good. We had a very uh, long period of growth in this market that is coming to an end, and and uh, as the world is going into recession, there will be less demand for oil. That is probably what's going to happen going forward. But to the upside, if we were to rally, then the 50 moving average up here at 93, 200 at 94 will mostly be significant resistant. Breaking above that, then yes, things may turn around, uh, definitely. So let's look at the natural uh, gas. So natural gas bounced off the 50 moving average today, ended at uh, 8.4. So this is a market is really tricky. Uh, um, I have been uh, tapping into the market uh, on and off. I do expect this to go higher I, in the long term, definitely, as um, uh, Europe especially will not have access to uh, Russian gas. And therefore, they will try to be reliant on the United States, which is basically this market. And uh, if that is the case, then demand for uh, LNG will increase. Uh, question is whether or not we see a move all the way down to the 200 moving average before going uh, going into the winter months, or is this basically, basically where we where are going to start from and where the 50 moving average is at this point? We are kind of building a base here. Um, if we get a green candlestick here, here tomorrow, then I'll probably be more positive. And if we have a crossing of the MACD, it will probably be even more positive. But MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is bullish at this point, and RSI is also bullish, and there's a lot of room to the upside. If we manage to take out uh, $10, uh, then we'll mostly go towards the 12, bringing below the 50, then we may drop to the 200 moving average, which is down here at $6.6. .6. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. Good luck, thank you very much.